Rostec subsidiary, United Engine Corporation, also called UEC, has formally announced that its newest PD-8 aviation engine has passed a battery of engineering tests that mimic intense rain. The effects of heavy precipitation during takeoff, climb, and landing, some of the most difficult circumstances for any contemporary turbofan engine, were replicated in these tests. The trials, which took place at the open-air test stand in the Yaroslavl region, represent a significant turning point in the current certification campaign for the PD-8. The engine is the power plant designed for the import-substituted Superjet 100, also called SJ-100, and potentially for other future Russian regional aircraft. Let's understand the methods used in the PD-8 rain tests. The UEC Saturn facility, located close to the city of Rabinsk, was the site of the rain impact testing. Engineers constructed a specialized arrangement of four collector frames with multiple nozzles. These nozzles blasted water with precisely controlled droplet sizes, allowing the system to recreate an actual severe downpour. Each test cycle used several tons of water, which was fed under high pressure from a large storage tank. Each of the three complete cycles that made up the evaluation included a variety of engine operating modes. These modes featured sudden throttle boosts and decreases. They ranged from idle thrust to full takeoff power. This allowed engineers to model realistic flight situations, such as taking off in a rainstorm, navigating through rain clouds, and approaching and landing in torrential downpours. Once every cycle was finished, the PD-8's performance remained steady and error-free. The engine retained all stated parameters without experiencing any unusual events, confirming its ability to withstand extreme weather stress. According to UEC, such rain impact tests are an essential component of civilian engine certification and a crucial stage in validating a new power plant's dependability and safety. What is the significance of these tests? One of the most difficult environmental problems for jet engines is rain ingestion. Large amounts of water entering the air intake can cause thrust loss, compressor instability, and even flame out. Any engine designed for commercial passenger aircraft must prove its ability to withstand heavy rainfall. Because jet engines are extremely sensitive to abrupt changes in airflow and sudden variations in the amount of water entering the compressor, Rain ingestion testing is essential. Heavy rain can abruptly cool the combustion chamber, dilute the fuel-air mixture, and obstruct stable flame propagation. These consequences are particularly hazardous because pilots depend on maximum engine response and high thrust margins during takeoff, climb, and landing. Even though aviation safety regulations have significantly improved over the decades, there have been several past incidents where aircraft lost power due to heavy rain or hail ingestion. One well-known example is Southern Airways Flight 242 in the year 1977, where a DC-9 lost both engines after ingesting massive volumes of water and hail during a storm. These historical events highlight why rain ingestion tests remain necessary even though modern engines are more reliable and certified to stricter standards. They ensure that contemporary engines maintain steady thrust and avoid surges, stalls, or flameouts, even in extreme downpours. This is particularly important for the PD-8. After Russia withdrew its international engine suppliers, developing fully homegrown power plants for civilian aviation programs became a national priority. The PD-8 directly affects the success of the SJ-100's return to widespread commercial service. Before the rain testing, the PD-8 had already passed several other critical engineering evaluations. These included tests of its grid-type thrust reverser using an electric actuator, crosswind stability checks, and acoustic studies. Experience from the PD-14 program, the engine used on the MC-21 airliner was applied in designing the reverser. With the successful rain trials, the engine is now much closer to complete certification and entry into serial operation across commercial fleets. 
The PD-8 program is part of a broader national initiative to replace imported aviation systems with domestically produced ones. After supply chain disruptions, Russian engineers accelerated the development of the PD-8 to support the SJ-100 project. A prototype of the upgraded SJ-100 has already been equipped with the first PD-8 engines and flight tests of the aircraft have begun. Alongside finishing certification, UEC is now focused on extending engine service life, improving component durability, and optimizing the engine for long-term commercial use. Modern composite materials, especially carbon fiber structures, are being introduced. These reduce the weight of key components and improve both engine life and efficiency. As research progresses, the PD-8 is expected to become a universal power plant option for a range of Russian aircraft, including amphibious platforms. The successful completion of the rain impact tests confirms the PD-8's ability to operate in some of the most severe weather conditions faced by civilian aircraft. It also confirms compliance with strict safety and performance requirements. Additionally, Russia is preparing to deploy a new, fully local engine for regional aviation, an important signal to airlines and aviation authorities. In early flight trials, including extreme regime maneuvers, such as minimum speed handling and high angle of attack testing, the PD-8-powered SJ-100 has already demonstrated excellent performance. If long-term reliability targets are met and broad certification is achieved, the PD-8 could become the foundation for the next generation of Russian regional and short-haul aircraft. This would enhance domestic aviation independence and reduce reliance on external suppliers. In conclusion, the recent PD-8 testing carried out in simulated severe rain represents a major technical and strategic advancement. The engine endured massive volumes of water, rapid mode changes, and conditions comparable to flying in a heavy downpour without any performance problems. This strengthens confidence in the PD-8 as a modern and reliable engine capable of supporting Russia's short-haul aviation in the years ahead. As certification progresses and engine life improvements continue, the PD-8 is positioned to play a critical role in the renewal and revival of regional aircraft developed within the country. United Engine Corporation State Corporation Rostec. Tests of the P-8 engine were successfully conducted under simulated rainstorm conditions. The testing simulated water injection, which replicates rain falling on the engine, marking a significant phase in the certification process for the PD-8 engine. For their implementation, Vodoka Saturn has created special equipment that allows to spray several tons of water at once. These engineering tests aim to confirm the PD-8 engine's reliability under extreme weather conditions such as heavy rainfall. The results attest to the accuracy of the design solutions applied and the outstanding reliability once more demonstrated by the engine. The tests were carried out as normal. Engine PD-8 worked without comments. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.